Tonight here, a look back at one of the most tense moments of the Cold War, the spy who betrayed the U.S. turning over secrets to the Russians. The drama playing out in the new ABC miniseries, The Assets. ABC's Dan Harris sits down with the former agent, Sandy Grimes, about how she brought that traitor down. At the height of the Cold War, a CIA officer walks into the Russian embassy in Washington, D.C. My name is Aldrich Ames. And hands over a treasure trove of secrets. This betrayal is at the heart of the new ABC miniseries, The Assets, a show inspired by the real-life case of Aldrich Ames. What you did, you did for money. Stop me if I say anything that's wrong. The Assets takes us inside the hunt to take Ames down, which was led in part by Sandy Grimes, a wife, mother, and CIA agent seen here on the show. I didn't agree. You're entitled to your opinion, Rick even if it's wrong. And seen here today. He wiped out your ability to have eyes and ears on the exactly. ground. Exactly, exactly. In our number one enemy. Exactly. Sandy Grimes first joined the CIA in the early 1970s and she had an extremely sensitive job, helping to manage the agency's relationship with its crown jewel, a spy named General Dmitry Polyakov, the highest ranking Soviet officer ever recruited. These were human beings, and you took it upon yourself to keep them alive. But on June 13, 1985, Aldrich Ames gave the KGB a list of every known human asset the CIA had in the Soviet Union. That list had 20 names on it. Within a year, 10 of them were executed. Among those rounded up, General Polyakov, seen here in this remarkable footage, arrested by Soviet agents. He was later shot. It's... Uh... Still hard to talk about. It didn't take long for Grimes to start to suspect Rick Ames. He had an affair with a younger Colombian woman named Rosario. She would become his second wife and she had expensive tastes. Eventually they bought a big brand new house and Ames started wearing expensive suits and driving a Jaguar. Grimes' counterintelligence work helped prove that Ames was taking Soviet money, which led to his arrest and that of his wife. He knew full well what fate awaited them. And he did it basically for money. What do you hope viewers take away from this show? I want them to remember that treason is a crime against every citizen of our country. Dan Harris, ABC News, New York. Our thanks to Dan and to Sandy Grimes for her work. The Assets, by the way, starts tomorrow night right here on ABC, 10 p.m., 9 central.